Hey kids, welcome back to a very late night edition of Mama's Couch. The official, original, well not the original, the official and only CH3 podcast. Uh, I'm Ben. I'm Dante. And I'm Tay. And uh, we are here uh, on, uh, we're, we're doing this very late because we all had shit to do in the morning. <laughs> Uh, more more so Taylor than anybody, <laughs> so I appreciate him being here because he was like, yeah, I might fall asleep on the couch. Um, today was a day where we were supposed to have a lot of sun, did not turn out to be true <laughs> at all, it turned out to be complete bullshit. Um, and the last time we did like a podcast, technically we talked about Halloween, and right now it's close to Thanksgiving time. So I thought we'd start with talking about um, what is your favorite part of the Thanksgiving Day meal? Because I have a theory that I think is pretty popular about there being levels and stages to it. Mm-hmm. But right now, what's your favorite dish? I'll go first. Um, I think for me, I like how I like the ham and the macaroni and cheese because, like, every year, very cultural answer. I like it. I have to make the macaroni because, mm. like, I oh, you've become the macaroni. Yeah, because, okay. yeah, because like it started like it started like a few years ago. My mom said, my mom walked up to me like, "Oh, I want you to make macaroni and cheese." And I was like. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? Like, yeah, I'll help you too. But like, <laughs> did not help much, right? Um, it was like, it was like, off and on. See, would pop in and then I was like, hey, how's it going? Like, it's, it's, it's going, you're, you're it's just, going, you're just struggling. Because <laughs> no, I remember, like, it was that year. Everybody was was, was about to be like, all my aunts, all my cousins. My so uncles. it was like a big thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, and at my house, and you've been in my house. My house was small as fuck. I don't know how the fuck we did. You it. were hosting it as well. Yeah, 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 buddy. No. <laughs> Ain't done that since we've been at my aunt's house for the past past year now. So, I say macaroni for me. How was your aunt's house? It was bigger? Oh, it's a lot bigger. Oh, so you're like, you're like yeah, don't oh, come yeah. to my house. Come oh, over there. Yeah. How about you, Taylor? Uh, well, I don't really have a favorite dish. Probably stuffing. But, I mean, to be truthful, uh, my grandma makes some good-ass peace cobbler. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, peace cobbler. Damn. Most underrated <laughs> Thanksgiving meal. Man, peace cobbler. And you know, uh, more I, piece cobbler with ice cream. Uh, and you know, what I gotta say, there's a there's a, there's an entire hemisphere of the fucking country that does not have that with Thanksgiving. Mm. It's a very southern thing. Mm-hmm. M- probably the best part of Thanksgiving though, because my auntie makes it from fucking uh, Louisiana. Mm. The best, um, underappreciated, but also always appreciated. And you realize cobbler much better than pie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. much better than pie. Yeah. Uh, pumpkin pie or soup potato pie. They ain't the same. No, but... <laughs> I mean, they kind of are. <laughs> we don't, like, well, how much proof do we have that pumpkin pie is really pumpkin? You know what I mean? Um, uh, would you say pumpkin or sweet potato? Yeah. Uh, I mean... I'll be 100. It's literally just an excuse for me to drown it in fucking whipped cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, they, 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 they taste the same, but they hit different. You know yeah. What I mean? Sweet potato pie makes you feel better. Mm-hmm. Like, the aftertaste of pumpkin is like, what the fuck did I just eat? Sweet potato <laughs> pie. But I think that's just sweet potatoes in general. General, yeah, sweet I just see that. Sweet potato make, uh, you see, like, your family love you. <laughs> oh, you, you ever had, like, the sweet potato, like, casserole with, like, the mushrooms on top that was, like, in the oven and shit? I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, mine is stuffing as well. And my theory is, is that it depends on your age. Because my theory is when you're a kid, your favorite thing is turkey because that's what you're fucking told is the oh, best. Yeah. And then we get a little bit older, it's like the mashed potatoes or whatever version of it. And then once you get to like our age, it's like the, the, the stuff like the stuffing and the mm-hmm. toddler. That's yeah. like the underrated stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because then you're because you're so used. It's like how you don't like birthday cake anymore, because you've had it so much in your life that for this period you're kind of like, yeah, it's not my favorite part of it. Yeah. Or at least certain parts of it. In terms of that, like I like the ice cream now because on my birthday, mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't really care for the cake that yeah. much. I, I prefer oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Unless it's like an ice cream cake. Oh yeah, yeah. I've had that a few years. All right, so I kind of <laughs> before before we went on air, I promised a story, and since we're talking about food, I should probably start with it. I'm very curious about this story. Now. Uh, it, <laughs> it's uh, it's proof that this this podcast is not sponsored by Panera, <laughs> and probably we never will be sponsored by Panera. Although you know, with that said, it's not like we got a lot of traffic, so we, we'll probably be fine if we want to have a deal oh, yeah. down down the line, Panera. Um, but right now, not a big fan of you. Gotta say, you're not you're not on my list. Um, so as these guys know, but I haven't really shared it on the channel. Uh, at my job, I've turned into the guy that orders food, which I realize also kind of makes me like the kid that sold cigarettes in high school. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like the same type of deal. A lot of power in it. 
Oh, I can't say. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I wonder why Taylor is shushing me on the <laughs> podcast. Um, so we were ordering Wingstop because we're fucking lazy, and like I'm kind of over Wingstop because we ordered mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean. Also, it's not the best. You know, I like the fries quality wise. Yeah, but you have to get like the right amount of seasoning, mm-hmm. and it's like you have to have them hot because if they're cold, they're really not good. Oh yeah, they taste stale to me. Uh, like honestly, the best. Yeah. 100 <laughs> percent it's just a ranch that i like if i'm being mm-hmm. honest with you sorry wingstop if we're not sponsored by wingstop either well, I'm, I'm not, I'm <laughs> we're barely sponsored by ourselves <laughs> um so that was that so i go and ask a friend of mine um who i knew was sick like me she was she's been sick for a while she's mm-hmm. also the pittiest fucking eater i know <laughs> um i'm not saying her name so i'm not worried about saying that <laughs> i'm gonna say it <laughs> If she heard it, she would know. She's not going to hear it, though. Cause she's not, she doesn't know this shit exists. Um, so I knew she was sick, so I went up and, you know, I've kind, kind of gone to the, making sure that she gets her order because of past mishaps that I'll not go into detail. Um, and she's like, nah, my throat hurts because she'll only eat the one type of wings. She'll only eat the classic hot wings. Mm. And I'm like, you know there's different items you Expand could have. Expand your horizon. <laughs> she's like, no, I don't like them. You've never tried them. <laughs> And then she was like, you know, I want soup. So I was like, fucking order soup then. Because it's like, we were going to pit it up for Wingstop. So we weren't doing DoorDash. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I, I, I know you don't have DoorDash. So I'm fine, you know, doing DoorDash for you. Because I'm fucking ordering food for anyone else. Every, you know, anyway, mm-hmm. what's the difference? So yeah, she picked out the fucking uh, chicken noodle soup from Panera. And they gave me a little, you know, ready in half an hour. But for some reason... Um, they're not showing me an actual ETA, and they're not showing mm. me um, who's making, you know, usually they show you the dasher, as you will. <laughs> it was late? Yes. Here, that's, yeah. yeah. This, here's the thing, because they only accept orders till 7.30, and it was like 6.45. <laughs> so I was like, the sign quick. It's like they look at the computer like, ah! Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to clock out, G. <laughs> You know exactly what that's man, make exactly the fucking make the well, soup, we man. turned the light off. The fryer. I don't think Panera was closing at fucking seven thirty. <laughs> I think, or maybe they do. I don't fucking know Panera like that. I assume they were just that they were still open, but they weren't allowing orders. People eat Panera. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the most basic white food you can eat. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie to you. After this story, I'm not gonna be recommending them to anybody. Um. So, but you know, it says that it'll be ready in half an hour, and it works out because I have to head on lunch in half an hour to go get the wings. Mm-hmm. We're trying to push it because you know, we're trying mm-hmm. to push it. Um, meanwhile, I still have my entire job to do at that point, you know, for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to balance this shit out while I'm on the floor and trying, you know, at the retail store I work at. So it gets to the point where we're getting ready to leave. And then I get a phone call. So I'm assuming it's the door dasher. So I pick it up and hear this dopey voice. It was a, hi, yeah, this is the Panera. I can deliver it to you. Yeah, no fucking duh. Um, <laughs> hi, yeah. Um, I'm at the Target. If you pull up to the door, I'll meet you there and I'll grab it. Because mm-hmm. mind you, I put in the directions and bring it to guest service. Well, of course. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I can already tell I'm not working with the brightest bulb. <laughs> and I need to get the fuck out of here so I can get back on time. And actually have time to actually eat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now granted, I will fucking take a longer lunch than allowed mm-hmm. to eat. Because I'm trying not to pass out. So I go outside, and this is Friday, so it was cold. We're in the Midwest. It was cold. <laughs> um, and I've already been, I was already kind of sick at that point. And after like three minutes, I don't see anything. So I walk inside, and I'm calling back on the phone. And I'm like, I'm sorry, where are you? In the parking lot. Where at? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, pull up to the Target. Silence. Uh, I don't see a Target. Now, okay, so in the area we are, you all know this at home. The fucking Target I worked at is in a fucking little duplex where the only thing in the area is a Target, a Best Buy, and a Jewel, basically. So if you're there, you're going to see the Target. <laughs> so I was like, okay, what do you see? Uh, I see a First Union Bank. Uh, is there a Pizza Hut in front of it? I'm like, no, there's not a Pizza Hut in front of it. I'm trying to picture where he is because I... <laughs> That's the thing. Is he at the one near fucking... <laughs> Uh, he that, might, oh, he, he, uh, he had to be on Howard Street. Because, like, he, he was following a map. Now, here, and then, here's the thing. I put down 2209 West Howard Street, which uh-huh. is technically not the address I worked at. Technically, it's 2209 Howard Street. I'm not sure if 2209 West Howard Street actually exists or not. But granted, every other DoorDash driver has found a way <laughs> to find the right <laughs> address. Um, 
So I'm like, and the whole time I'm saying this, all my friends are watching me do this and cracking the fuck up because they're seeing my reactions. And they're hearing what I'm saying because I'm like, I'm at the Target in Evanston. It's by a jewel. And like, I'm getting impatient. Again, this is not soup for me. This is soup for my friend <laughs> who I very much want to like me. Right? It's fucked up that like... <laughs> He's getting mad about a food that like he don't even want to eat. <laughs> and you can hear the anger in my voice. And th if there's any people on this earth that knows how I am when I'm upset, it's these two people on this couch right now. <laughs> oh, I gotta talk to myself because I'm gonna skip over details. <laughs> so he 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 eventually says, "Okay, let me just go around and see if I can find it." Except in a dopey fucking way, right? Let me see if I can find so it. I leave him on speaker, <laughs> and like I'm hearing the fucking clicking of his turn signal for like five goddamn minutes. <laughs> So I'm, I'm literally like, do you see any landmarks? <laughs> Doesn't say anything. So I, again, I'm in the, like me, me and my buddies are dressed up, ready to fucking leave at mm -hmm. this point, And they're just laughing at me. But also like, hey, can we go? And my boss is in the other room. This isn't really important, but I think it's nice to know this. She's in the other room <laughs> for a thing later that she will not notice. And I don't know how she didn't notice. So eventually he's just like, yeah, I'm at the address. I don't see a target. You can imagine how how much rage was in my face. I was almost shaking. <laughs> and he's at the point where he's like, let me call my manager and I'll call you back. Click. What do they do like, if they can't find it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I stare at my two friends. They stare back at me. They're trying not to laugh. I turn around. I say, we're leaving, boys. As, <laughs> as I'm walking down the hallway from the lunchroom, the break room. I'm stopping my feet, and I go, <laughs> legitimately like that, except louder. My boss is not here. <laughs> I walk outside. I'm on the floor now of Target. I have my jacket on, so you can't tell I'm an employee, but you see me walking out from a hallway. I have my, my, my hat. My bull's hat, the Dante. My friend had gotten me for my birthday. <laughs> I stop directly in front of the chip lanes, take the hat off, and throw it to the ground with a loud crash. <laughs> I bend down to get it, and my glasses fall down. <laughs> and then as I try to pick up my glasses, they get kicked forward. <laughs> and like the whole time, customers are looking at me with like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? So I stomp out towards the door. My friends are following me, cracking the fuck up like Dante is. I go over to my friend Sean. Sean's 18 years old. He's a great guy. He's behind guest service. He's always the guy that when the food comes, he's like, hey, Ben, can you come to guest service? He doesn't rat me out. He's like, hey, Ben, your stuff is here. I see Sean. I reach over the counter, put both my hands on his shoulder. His eyes are wide. I go, Sean, buddy, if the food ever arrives, just give it to her. I'm not going to be in the building. So we go. We pick up Wingstop. And I haven't gotten a call back. And I'm ready to cut a fucking promo on this guy. <laughs> I am ready to go full CM Punk or Miz on him. I'm ready to black out in rage. So I call his number and it immediately disconnects. <laughs> I do it three I times. Doesn't even ring. He will not pick up the fucking phone. I look down at DoorDash. It says order complete. I'm like, okay, let's see how this is. We go back. I got a bag full of food, right? We're going in. I see my, I see Sean. I look Sean in his eyes. <laughs> Sean, did the food ever come in? I don't know why. Not delivered. No, never came in. <laughs> Houston, we have a motherfucking problem here. Because <laughs> now I got to tell my friend why her food is not here. My very attractive and nice friend who I like very much <laughs> and wants to like me back. That is neither here nor there, but it's important to the story. <laughs> We sit down to eat. I kind of hope she watches this now. <laughs> I'm sure someday. We sit down to eat. I go to DoorDash help. And I tell them, my food has never arrived. <laughs> so they put me on, on uh, the chat with an agent. And she's like, I'm sorry. Technically, Panera handles their own deliveries. So we're actually not that involved in this process. But we can give you Panera's number. So, okay, I put on Panera's number. Uh, you could have easily got I'm the on, yourself. I'm on waiting for a good five minutes, eating my nuggets very aggressively. And then I just, I hang up. And then as I'm getting off lunch, I see my boss. And I go to her and I say, would I get in trouble if I cause any property damage? 
So he says yes. So I walk away. I see my friend. I apologize. I attempt to give her some money to buy some food. She will not accept it. <laughs> so I'm like, do you want soup from anywhere else? So after much arm pulling, I ordered some soup from Noodles and Company. Oh, yeah. Nice. And yeah. it successfully arrived. That's, and uh, she ate it, and she felt a little better. So in turn, I felt better. I sponsor Noodles and Company. <laughs> but I bring the fact to you that I was charged for that meal and never received it to this day. <laughs> How much was it? It was like fifteen. It Too, was much. Like $18. No. Too much. Eighteen dollars. Too much. Was that it? Soup? Soup and bread. And bre- what? <laughs> what the fuck? What's the bread? I can fucking shit my phone right now. One piece. <laughs> I probably ate that shit. <laughs> Hi, folks. In my rage, I accidentally disconnected my microphone. I was in the process of uh, looking he, up to see how much that shit cost. Oh, my God. He looked at the receipt saying it was paid for. He was like, oh. Dude, you know, he, he called his fucking manager. So his manager was probably like, hey, just fucking eat it. I don't know. <laughs> fucking Panera, we don't give a shit. So, yeah, right here. Panera, zero out of five stars. Never well, ordered the one again. downtown or the one closer to... Uh... Dude, it's the one that's, like, fucking close to Target. It's, like, the one by, like, what is it, Walmart? Yeah. It's on Howard Street. It's, like, on the same street. Because yeah, I was going to say, if it was the one that's, like, a little, a little like, ways away, then maybe it's an, an excuse, but, like... No, it's just bruh. a fucking idiot. It was thirteen eighty three. No, that's too much. Mm-hmm. Too much, too much. <laughs> For bread, the soup, no. Anything over, like, the... I will uh, say, though, that the soup from News & Company was seventeen ninety eight. I'm, I'm, bro, but that one arrived. Bro, I love news, news and company. That one arrived. They out here charging for the struggle meal, <laughs> basically. So yeah, um, I'm sweating with rage recapping that story. <laughs> they out here. I've been holding that in for like what six days to tell you guys that story. I'm surprised you didn't tell us sooner. Well, I, I wanted to get it on air because I, I I just had a feeling I had a nugget that it might be good to hear. <laughs> He looked at that, that bag. Oh, yeah. He ain't gonna want it. I'm trying to figure out, like... He was. He had to be somewhere yeah. on Howard Street. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out, like, <laughs> where he was. I'm trying to picture in my head, like, yeah. I, he said he's next to, like, a bank, right? Isn't that, like... First Union he's Bank. At, yeah, it's next to it. It's next... It's, it's it in the area. Wells Fargo that's next to... Uh, the one that's in front of Target is TCF. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the bank that's right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which is what I thought at first. I was like, is he is he fucking right here and he's an idiot and he can't see the big-ass red circle? <laughs> Unless he don't know what Target is. I don't know. He was dopey as fuck. Because it, was, it, was, it wasn't a DoorDash driver. It was a fucking delivery guy from Panera. Mm-hmm. Probably wasn't even a delivery guy from Panera. It was probably just a dude that was working at Panera and his manager was like, hey, get in the fucking car. And this dude <laughs> hey, get the fucking car. And he can't even do that right. Uh, sir, I don't have a car. Probably, like Go some, get one. probably somebody's nephew that's been fucking up and they're just trying to find the right job for him, you know? Oh, imagine. That soup is still out there somewhere. <laughs> uh, imagine being one of those nephews, though. Like, bro, I told you... <laughs> To go to Target and deliver that food. Why were you somewhere else? Imagine that. Imagine, that, imagine if he was at the register, open that bitch up his six pennies. I literally I said to him at one point on the phone when I lost my patience. I was like, dude, every other DoorDash driver can find this place. Why can't you? Um, Sir, do you not have Google? The That's Siri what not working That's, pro- That's what they have to do. Mm-hmm. And here's the, the thing. Because it was Panera, they did not divulge his name or his number. Which is uh, what other... So yeah, I was cause... like, oh, the one time... Actually, I still have his. I still have his number. You trying to call him on this? Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Probably so. Maybe I should have one of you guys call him. And I'll put up like you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. I'm oh, sorry. That was I was ready to block out and have zero remorse. I was ready to fucking give it to him like I've never give anybody else before. You know what I mean? Like, cause in that moment, I felt so much rage that my friends noticed and they were very amused, but also a little bit scared. Mostly when I threw the hat down on the ground. <laughs> I think because we've known you for so long, I don't think we would be scared. We'd be like, oh, well, that's just been again. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dante has also almost had to break me out of basketball fights. So if you, if any... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it didn't turn anything serious. We ain't I would have regretted I would have regretted it. I, I would regret any time I let my inner best of me. Mm-hmm. But it would have felt good in the moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you could take you. Just take your for stage on, on that you know, like, face. You know, like that fucking, that big dick energy, you know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> uh, 
But um, anyway, before we started the podcast, we had started talking about uh, some high school stories. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot we can't no, say. Here's, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had a few things I wanted to bring to the table that are like loosely associated to the concept of high school. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a very scatterbrain podcast, by the way. We have like mm-hmm. a lot of different stuff we want to talk about. Mostly for us. Like we're not, you know, this isn't really like, oh, we got to talk about this. No. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's talk about growing the vent. <laughs> Whistleblower. Um... So before we talk about our, I wanted, I have like one high school thing to talk about with my dad, mm-hmm. uh, old Arch. Also, by the way, Arch and Chick hosting Christmas this year Ooh. with the entire Yumping family. Ooh. I said, you, well, sure sorry. you guys ready for it? I'm sorry. Cause they have, they have a tough time dealing with the four of us. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm musty ass. <laughs> Chick, you had a hard time driving us that one time. <laughs> Y'all stink. <laughs> <laughs> no, more so with us being loud. Um, but there was that time we stunk too. Yeah. Cause we're boys and you know, boys will stink. Um, I'm I knew my entire dad. Entire... It. Yeah, I'm a man, man thing. I've known most of my life that my dad was a football player in high school. Mm-hmm. Never once thought to ask what his position was until like two days ago. Mm. Apparently, old Arch played uh, linebacker and tight end. Ooh. So yeah, he was strong, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, built ass. The whole time, I, you know, whole time, you know, I just assumed he was a bench warmer. He played most of the game. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was trash. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, he didn't come out the, bank, the game that much. And then I was like, oh, you're a linebacker? Ooh. <laughs> and like sometimes tight end, too. So, was, you mm-hmm. know. So I was like, yeah, I just want to, I just want to, don't want to give old Arch some appreciation. <laughs> Especially since I kind of doubted him for like most of my life with no reason why. You tried. Because my dad's a pretty, he's a big enough dude. He's not a huge guy. Mm-hmm. But like when you see him comparatively to people, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I can see him being a linebacker. Mm-hmm. Good for him. Also, Holy another story. God. We didn't play catch a lot because I didn't like how he would talk to me because he would like try to aggressively coach me, and I couldn't handle it being. Four. He got flashbacks to being on the field. Yeah, he used to like, roast his ass, and like I couldn't handle it being as I was four, <laughs> being as as I was a child. Yeah. <laughs> and he was and he was telling me, he was like, man, you, you you were a little slugger. You used to hit out the park all the time. Well, thanks, Dad. I could have been fucking somebody. <laughs> well, somebody didn't know how to nurture my talent. I could have been great because like we would play, we would play like fucking. We, he would throw. Balls at me in the backyard. I had a bat. He wasn't just throwing shit at me. Mm-hmm. And then I would knock it out into the other yard. So he would kind of have. We would kind of have to stop. But like it was kind of counterintuitive because I was doing well. But he couldn't like be like, "Hey, good job," because he'd have to go back and get it from the other yard. And I have a park. No, it wasn't a park. Um, it was no, backyard. No. I'm saying y'all didn't have a park. We did, but we were lazy. Mm. Not true. And also, uh, it was um, by Lincoln Woods, so kind of a rough fish neighborhood at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this is 16 years ago. You forgot where. 18 years. This 18 years ago. 18 years ago. <laughs> so it was like kind of rough. It got better after we left. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we um, we started talking when he picked me up from work one time. Uh, we started talking about like uh, somehow we got into student council stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know, talking about he made a joke how he could have been president. And I was like, I didn't vote, but there was a president who shared my name. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, and I told him, our class president, which I'll tell you guys now, mm-hmm. uh, his name was Ben. And uh, oh god, oh, I, didn't have, I, didn't, I didn't have a problem with Ben. Anytime I talked to him, I was fine with him. Just saying, he one time he stabbed his ass. Because he fell in his backpack that had a pocket knife in it. Do you guys remember that story? <laughs> I remember it hearing happened. about it, yeah. Um, and this is also our president who was officially impeached for smoking pot at a party. But we got the better one. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got Reggie. Um, but it was like, yeah, my president got impeached. So there was a whole process and a whole tribal thing, and I didn't give a fuck because I didn't vote in the first place. <laughs> I think I voted for him just because everybody was like, hey, you should vote for him because he's funny. Like, like, I was like... What yeah, because everyone was or fucking stupid at our school. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that's why I didn't really give a fuck. Like, what does he stand for? I didn't care about that. Well, what what is the school politics? <laughs> is he gonna... Yeah, because what the fuck? It's not going to change anything. It's not like the no, no more homework. Like what the fuck? No, no, it's, it's a useless thing. Yeah, it's just getting it's just giving fucking upper class <laughs> people the chance to be upper class people in real life. You know what I'm saying? Hundred uh, percent. I could have been a good student body council president. I would have voted for you, Taylor. What would uh, you have done, Taylor? Well, what have been your platform? Uh, let, let me try my Obama impression. <clears throat> Obama? No, no, listen uh, here. Now listen here. Michelle <laughs> said, Beth, when they go low, we go lower. <laughs> Crack <laughs> our name in. <laughs> <laughs> let me get a, what, what? <laughs> Holla at your boy. <laughs> Can I do an amen? <laughs> Pray for the wicked on the weekend. That song wasn't out when we were in high school. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, that, that was. I that's did. He still had that haircut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did think about uh, going for it. Well, no, it was more of an idea of like, yeah, what what if I did I, do that? Yeah. But I, I was like, I, I I only got so far to the question of like, how, how do you do that? And, and they're like, what what are the steps to become a student council president? I always thought you just have to ask. Um, like, hey, let me think. I, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey I want to run. <laughs> I, I couldn't have done it because I not enough people knew me. Mm-hmm. I would have been a hell of a speech giver though. Mm-hmm. I would have I would have found like talking about nothing, right? Mm-hmm. I would have had people like, oh, I like what he said. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> like imagine me being like a coach, you know, but like God in heaven, forgive us not for what we did, but forgive us for what we're about to do. In your name, in Christ alone, let's get this fucking win. Let's go, boys! <laughs> <laughs> imagine the locker room going fucking wild oh, after that shit. shit. It was like, ah! <laughs> I don't know what he meant, but he he I'm swore, like, so he's passing it. I said, "All I gotta do is fucking swear." So if you're a high school coach, fucking swear, you'll win a championship. Woo! <laughs> Let's get out there and kick their ass. <laughs> yeah, I used to always, uh, especially in our uh, history and English class when we had to do speeches. That was my thing because, like, even if I was being like, I didn't really know or have. Uh, good knowledge on the subject. I could always at least bullshit my way mildly mm-hmm. through. I remember junior year, we were doing uh, like some presidential thing and oh yeah, classroom. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. And, <laughs> and it was no. Not, I was in charge of the camera for my group. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was sophomore year. Oh yeah, true. Wait. Yeah. I don't think I ever did that. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. sophomore year. Uh, but uh, junior year, I had uh, history with Mr. Brown. Mm-hmm. And so we were doing the presidential thing. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to call Sergio and Mario out because they remember I wanted to be president in life. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Shout out. I know the story. You told me the story. Go ahead. <laughs> so they were like, <laughs> they were like, Sergio looked at me. He's like, Taylor, I remember you used to always say in sixth grade you wanted to be president. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't apply here. <laughs> I went down the line. So, so I'm not then, down the line yet. <laughs> so then he looked at me. He was like, he was like, uh, in our group, it was like at least four or five of us. Mm-hmm. So I was already outnumbered because Mario, he was like, he was like, um, raise your hand if you want to take last present. Ah. Mario raised his hand. Sergio put his hand up. <laughs> Two other people put their hand up. I'm like, oh. This is how y'all gonna do me? Here's all right. You don't. Taylor. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. Bet. Wait, wait for the shit show to be. <laughs> I got up there. So, I'm probably like the fourth candidate up. I'm like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> oh, that's the best speech. <laughs> I got, I said that. The whole class burst out into laughing. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat this. It then just went, went off. We did not win. We probably got a few votes, and I think none of us on our team voted for ourselves. Aw, oh, come on. That could have been a different space. <laughs> That's, you can't see yourselves in a foot like that. Yeah. Did, uh, did you guys see the trailer for the new Spongebob movie? Yep. No. Fucking Keanu? Keanu Reeves. I've seen that part, though. Yeah. That's the only part I've seen. I'm, I'm there for it. I'm there for it. Keanu uh, I have a Nickelodeon. I, I just said that to bring up my next question that's Nickelodeon re- related. Netflix? Uh, we can talk about that. I'm there for it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, that, that kind of has to do with it because I was going through Disney Plus mm-hmm. and seeing like all the fucking stars that I, you know, stars, quote unquote, from our childhood. It made me realize, what the fuck happened to Victoria Justice? I mean, she still acts. She makes, she made like a couple albums that didn't really do too well. Yeah, because the thing is, I remember her being like kind of a pretty good YouTube cover artist. Not mm-hmm. on her own, but she would be like big YouTube. She yeah. would feature on stuff, and then she was kind of stopped doing it. Yeah. Um, does she still act? Because I, because I checked her page, and I haven't seen anything since three years ago. But that's just her YouTube page. So maybe she was like, I gotta focus on the serious Hollywood stuff. So um, I don't know. I don't know like anything that else happened to her, but like, I know she's got a kid, and she's married now. But I knew she was married. Didn't know she had yeah, a kid. That's, yeah. pr- that's that's probably why. She's probably like, hey, I got fucking important shit to deal with Ben <laughs> on his couch. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking... I think she does. I'm not too sure. She's a pretty good singer. I like that. Yeah. I see why Ariana blew up more. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. No, Ariana just surpassed everybody, everybody who was even on that show. After she got her own show, she kind of took off after that. 
even not even that. It was just the fun that she started making yeah. music from. Her. Yeah. Um, Let's see the last thing she does once it loads up. <laughs> <laughs> I really she don't. She got know. something called Summer Night. I ain't going to click on that damn page. <laughs> yeah. That was her last movie I see here. With Summer what year Night. was it? 2019. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Damn, so like now? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's been doing. I mean, I don't really know. I don't know. I mean, I remember, um, oh, the fuck is her name? The chick who plays Sam. I can't remember her name. Jeanette McCurdy? Yeah. yeah Jeanette McCurdy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's I, a joke about it we can't say on this channel in our friend group that's legendary. Oh, yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't. We can't talk about it. I mean, we could. I, I just, we can. Probably not, well. probably not the best idea. Probably not the best idea. Sorry, go on, Taylor. Yeah, no. I remember. I mean, she did really do. Uh, I mean, she has a YouTube channel. She had a YouTube channel. Um, the other girl, can't remember her name. I'll What's... follow her on Instagram. Remember, okay, there was like two emo kids in Victoria Justice. Yeah, there, there was, was the, the other boy, and then there was the girl. girl. The girl's hot. Yeah, the Jade, girl's hot. whatever her name was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was mean as fuck. I yeah, like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Woman, woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, she's on the CW show I don't watch. Oh. Oh, she's on that one? Mm-hmm. That she's one? Doing, that uh, one. Dynasty. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, they did remake Dynasty, didn't mm-hmm. they? I watched like one episode. I was like, it's not for not us. Not for me. Not for us. It's, for it's our... not for my demographic. <laughs> More so our age group. Mm-hmm. It's more of our parents. <laughs> Not really our parents, per se, but, you know, their generation. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can agree with that. It's not my thing, either. So, by the time this video is out, both these games will already be out. Um, but at the time recording, they will not be. One is Death Stranding, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is getting weird reviews, which is expected, so I don't really want to talk about it that much. Uh, but there's been one hot topic issue that the CS3 industries have been able to kind of avoid and skirt from. Um, it's Pokemon Sword and Shield. There's a lot of negativity yeah, surrounding yeah. this game. Mm-hmm. Or games, I should say. How do you guys feel about it? How much do you know about it? Because I'm assuming um, Taylor knows more than you do, Dante. I don't really know that much yeah. about it. Yeah. Most of it seemed to be about um, <laughs> like resolution, anti-aliasing, and other things like that. Mm-hmm. Um. So one big complaint is because they cut half of the Pokédex to improve on, um, not design, to improve on, uh, I guess, frame rate stability and more animation. And I guess the Pokémon community, feel, or well not, the vocal minority feels that they don't have, uh, that it wasn't done justice enough. Right, and then, you know, the whole national deaths, mm-hmm. that thing. Yeah, there's just, they're, they're finding every reason to be mad about it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I'm not going to lie, Pokemon, I've always liked, but it's never been, like, enough for me to be like, I'm invested emotionally in this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I always have fun with it, but there's always other games I'm I'm more concerned about. Yeah. Just, that's just how I am. You know, I was more of a Digimon kid, you know, Digimon are the champions. Digimon, <laughs> well, Digimon Evolution. Shit. Shit, I was more into Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. I had the deck and everything. Yeah. yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh was a shit. I mean, I don't think it matters. I think this game's still going to make all the money. Mm-hmm. Just because it's a Pokemon console game, which is what everybody's yeah. wanted. That's also the problem. Everyone's wanted a po- Pokemon console game. So now they're getting it. They're like, ah, oh, that's not what I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of it. What do you? But we can talk about this thing for a little bit. Are you doing it, Taylor? Not that sixty dollars. <laughs> you know, ah, <laughs> hot take <laughs> coming out the gate. I, I <laughs> like heater. I like Hideo Kojima. I like him more as a person. I really don't like his game. Ah, you they're, know. They're too long for me. Agree. I don't have I, time. I'm interested in playing this one. Mm. But I kind of agree. But that, that's my, um, I'm, uh, so what I've been equating it to, uh, the Dark Soul, the Soul mm. game. You, uh, I, I play, uh, Bloodborne. It, <laughs> that game I like, but I like for reasons because. I like getting my ass whooped, but I wouldn't like that for a sixty dollar price tag. That's why I wait for get for them to go to twenty dollars. And so I see the same exact thing happening here with Death Strand. I won't like it because, uh, base. I mean, from the gameplay wise, it just looks like a whole bunch of backtracking and yeah. doing side quests. Which that doesn't interest me too much, but I to say that. if it drops to twenty dollars, it'll interest me. 
20 wow you're saying it has to become a playstation hit yeah <laughs> or it has to make no money that's what you're saying it has to become a big hit or make no money in your play. <laughs> wow. that's a heater of tape bro how about you dante you kept up with it at all yeah, fucking Norman Reedus game. What this one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this is Dante. Dante will buy games. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes I like to save money. <laughs> I mean, because like this is me. Like I, I've like I've like watched a few trades and a few gameplay. I'm like, okay, it's not, not really some of the some of the some of the like, I might be interested See, in. That's the thing. I do deliver in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get off. Boy, it's like, like a damn walking simulator to me. <laughs> To, oh man, let me relax after a long day of work. For real. Ah! <laughs> For real. But I mean, it could it could be a slow burn like uh, Zelda was. That's the me. thing. Like, I could see moments of greatness in that mm-hmm. game, but I wonder how much mm-hmm. how, high how high a barrier of entry it is. Cause you know my thing with Zelda. I That's really like that game. Is. That game didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> you had a tough time. Love hate relationship. <laughs> you had a very tough time of it. For real. I, I bought that. And I'm like, oh Ben, I'm doing really good. Oh Ben, I'm fucked. Oh, get my <laughs> it was like immediate too. It was like then that same night. It wasn't like a long layover. <laughs> I'll see what happens. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it yet. Yeah. It's, no, it's hard. November, yeah. every game comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I already have two games I really like that I really want to finish immediately. And then Jedi Fallen Order is coming out. Mm-hmm. And, uh... <laughs> like, an hour. Like, basically, when we we're done recording, I'm going to be playing that game. Damn near. Okay, so the last one that I have... um, And we can keep going afterwards if anyone has anything. Mm-hmm. I haven't been timing it, so I don't really care. The last topic I have on hand is reviewing the last thing we each watched. Mm-hmm. Not, like... Like, literally the last thing we watched. And, you know, we could change the rules however we want um did you guys prepare anything ahead of time yep eh, i got something in mind okay taylor you can go first then <laughs> mine is really long i yeah I, i'm hoping it is but but i know what y'all want me to talk about and i ain't gonna talk about it. i know exactly as soon as i seen that message pop up i was like oh i know what he's doing i ain't gonna talk about it oh you think i'm trying to lead you think i'm trying to lead <laughs> Let me tell you about Alan Moore's watch. No. <laughs> Go right ahead. Okay. Um, okay, so I named this uh, the title for in my notes. You do not want to be sober for this story. And Heat. this... Heater. This <laughs> Taylor's is, coming out with the big guns today. This quote is taken directly from Batwoman. Let me tell you. Uh, I was hoping... <laughs> I had hope in my heart that we did this on air. Ladies and gents. Everything in between. I was going to name this Welcome to Chicago. Oops, I meant Gotham. But I won't because this show gave me the perfect title in episode five. When that was said, those lines. If my hero academia is a freight train in the China shop, Batwoman is the bad news in the clinic. It's the child that you dream of to have potential to only fall short and trip and stumble Damn. along the way. It's the child... That you talk to every night telling them they'll get better and constantly trying to uplift them. It's a story that's so easily here to check boxes and make sure they check them twice. <laughs> First up is acne. Damn, before you start, I knew you didn't like this show. I didn't realize it hurt you. <laughs> 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 oh, Sorry, please, please continue. So first up is acne. Oh boy, where do we start? The acting is abysmal, and you can clearly see there's no true direction the actors are given besides here's the script, stand here, and action. From a wooden performance to now, right, just reading the lines in the most deadpan voice and emotion one could give. If, now I like this line, if STDs could act. You bet your bottom dollar these performances are the crabs of acting. Taylor! You came up with that yourself? Yes. <laughs> this <laughs> it really making me want to start doing that um that uh video log thing that you were doing earlier. Yeah, we should. I'm sorry, Dante. Should I you go first? No, it's fine. <laughs> going to. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna got something safe for mine. <laughs> <laughs> it takes six episodes to find this footing after stumbling through the first five episodes like a newborn calf. <laughs> Set pieces. Wow. 
What set pieces? <laughs> <laughs> besides the few reoccurring locations, even if you want to call it that, besides generic basement, a house straight out of one of those direct-to-DVD Father Kills His Family movies, wow. and the diner because we have to switch it up, bitches. <laughs> lighting. <laughs> if you want to call it that, sure, go ahead. But lighting or the lack thereof is abysmal from screens set outside, I mean, screen, scenes set outside like you turned up the contrast too high, uh, so high, higher than Snoop. This mm-hmm. lighting doesn't work for the white actors or the dark skinned actors. Wow. Especially the dark skinned actors. They look washed out like those faded denim your mom has had for 35 years and won't throw them out because blah, 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 glory years. <laughs> Story. Now here is the crust of the series. The thing that holds it up. The thing that makes you want to watch. The story is basic parents. Loved one dies in an accident. Superhero story to the T. Then to his family is found out to be alive. Oh, big revelations, boys. Putting the Bible to shame. To shame? To shame. With the master class writing, you know I like the Bible when Jesus wept. It was from a place of sadness. When we wept, it was from a place of pain, from a series that could have been good. It didn't have to go out and average a triple-double. It could have at least gave us a good five and five. And counterparts of other DCW shows at least give us 15 points and five and six. This is no Lou Williams or six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even Damn. Henny Jr. after he won the chip. Henny J. Taylor just hitting all the corners. <sighs> pros. I will give a pro. It's not really that much. Pro. Uh, Rachel Scartson, season actor, she plays Alice, <laughs> is in the league of her own. Not saying much. She so sees, not a good way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a good way, but not a good way for the whole show. It, it picks up in episode six. It gets a little bit better. The only one... How much is a little bit? <sighs> it's no... Uh, a little bit. What can I equate this to? Um, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, um, if you don't know, you don't know. Uh, yeah, let me get back here. Uh, the only one truly trying to give a good performance. It's not much, but damn it, she's the delight of waking up to a home cooked meal in the she's morning. The as opposed to waking up to dad burning the Pop Tarts. Again. Fucking dad. Again. <laughs> Fucking dad. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, and my final conclusion uh, despite clearly checking boxes for diversity it's a welcome addition to say the least it's cool for people to be able to see folks who look like them but if the show uh, gets to go for a second season they would need to do course correction and a lot of it if you're hearing this and I know you're not WB, CW you Greg know. Berlanti, Jeff John Y'all ain't doing too good, nigga. Ooh. <laughs> the slur of you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, pop, what, what pop to you, Dante? What the fuck you want me to say? <laughs> um, well, like... Wait, is that it, Taylor? Yeah, he's yeah, done. That's he's, wow. done he's done. I told you I had one pro. Heat. <laughs> well... If I can follow that, which I think is kind of impossible. I, I remember the last thing I watched was Monday Night Raw. <laughs> oh! <laughs> tell me about it. It's not much to tell. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Fucking Ben dislodged his mic again. Dante, please continue. Um, <laughs> I remember the last thing I watched was Monday Night Raw. And um, I remember when I was watching it... <laughs> It was um a certain a certain area um in the show where I had to stop watching. Oh no. <laughs> I had to stop Are you watching. Review this segment? <laughs> and yeah. And um I just had to stop because I was like, uh, okay, there's no way. Nah, <laughs> there's no way there's they're no, gonna keep they're gonna do this to it. There's no payoff. Um and if you if you uh if you if you like wrestling and you watch Raw, you know the segment I'm talking about. It's the, the, line the highest, the, the highest rated demographic wise segment of that show. Yeah, got the most views. Yeah. Continue. It was, <laughs> it was the last segment 
Mm, Lana Rusev, Bobby Lashley. Lana Rusev, Bobby Lashley. If you know what's going on in the, in that feud, then like you know that like Lana and Rusev have been having a lot of issues with their marriage, which I think is fucking bullshit. Because every feud you have Lana in, fucking soap opera. You gotta have them have her in a fucking soap opera. They did it with fucking Dolph Ziggler, and they did it with um. Um, Aiden English yeah and they're doing it now so I think we can't find anything else to do with fucking Lana but that's besides the point is that the <laughs> <laughs> but like it opened with Lana she's in the middle of the ring and I, I want to start by saying like <laughs> have they dropped her accent because he doesn't do yeah, it yeah 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 they dropped have they, yeah. Do, do they, they do, do run her real they dropped her fucking it's, yes. fuck, it's, it's not Lana it's, 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 fuck, it's what, fucking whatever her name is it's like, fucking CJ Perry now CJ I was gonna say CJ Taylor. Perry I knew it was a white name she came out like I don't even know what the fuck she said. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like off the dome because I remember like I was like no. She said uh, she was pregnant with Rusev's pregnant child. With, she fucking nine weeks. No, it was a sex addict. <laughs> sex addict. Sex addict. And fucking. And then like how much fun she was having with Bobby last year. Yeah, which I think no, like uh, if... this what I've been missing. Yeah, you're not missing much. <laughs> well, that's it. some good stuff, yeah, but yeah, that's we... yeah, that's. Go we on. got the Fiend, but like no, but like then Fiend and NXT. That's about yeah, it. the Fiend and NXT. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Then then then, then, then like. In comes fucking Rusev, and he's like, I-, I forgot what he says, but all I remember... He admits to being a sex he, Yeah, he admits to it. And then, like... then like Weird move for a baby face. Yeah. Which, I'm looking at it like, well, like... What's the point, then? <laughs> <laughs> fucking therapy, Dr. Shelby? Um, and then, like, he says some other stuff, and Lana just fucking... I like fucking, that nothing. Yeah, she fucking slaps him fucking multiple times, and she fucking... Then fucking Bobby comes out of fucking nowhere. Which I don't... Like, I, f- I feel with Bobby lastly, he's not... He's kind of died down ever since he he was brought back. Like I think that that stuff he did with Strowman was really yeah the good. Strowman. But after that, I kind of found a, kind of lost interest, especially when he had the title. I forgot what he won, like the Intercontinental title. I kind of just uh he had the he had the IC title first, mm-hmm. then he got into the stuff with Braun, and that yeah. was like the stuff that was actually good. Then he got hurt. Yeah, mm-hmm. then he got hurt. Then he came back. Then they fucking dropped him in this. Yeah, yeah. Which they can't. I guess they couldn't find anything else to do. I mean. I mean, he did see this have a hot woman on his arm. That's cool. No, it's it's fucking bullshit. I don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't care. I don't much care for it then. <laughs> then like he gets at Rusev and he spears Rusev, and then the then the two of them leave, and Lana's like, <laughs> I can't believe he fell for it. I'm not pregnant. Then fucking Bobby with the weirdest line of the century, like, you mean you're not pregnant? Like motherfucker, what? Like <laughs> also, the baby wasn't yours. She said it was Rusev. <laughs> Why are you reacting that way? <laughs> It pissed Don't me tell me this is to make Bobby a, bo- oh. a baby face. <laughs> That'd be my baby. <laughs> it fucking, fucking pissed me I'm off. the opposite of a black stereotype. <laughs> I want to be there. <laughs> but it's not mine. I want to be there. Fucking like life. <laughs> I'll be that baby pet. I want to be. And then it ended. I looked at Chance, my beautiful dog. But Chance, I'm done for the night. Chance, what are you watching that for, Pops? <laughs> <laughs> I turned the TV off. I just went to bed. That was my night. I'm done. <laughs> Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I'm actually gonna cheat, even though I made the rules of this shit. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys pick what you want me to review. You probably know that they're both Disney Plus. Do you want me to hear? You want to hear me talk about the Mandalorian or according to the world according to Jeff Goldblum? Goldblum. I haven't Bye. seen anything about Mandalorian. You can talk about Goldblum. Okay. If Chris, I mean, me. if you really want to hear about both, I can do both. But Goldblum's fine. <laughs> Um, there, there is only a select amount of people where I would watch them do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of them would be fucking McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Another one probably Rogan, probably Seth Rogan, mm-hmm. and definitely fucking Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> like it's amazing. Like the the show starts with him walking down an alleyway to fucking jazz music, and he was like, "Jeff Goldblum here. <laughs> uh, I'm an actor." Uh, play a little jazz music. I'm a crazy cat. Ah. I'm already, I'm already in, in trees. It's, and it's like good voiceover too. Like he's fucking acting his ass off doing voiceover. <laughs> he's not fucking milling it in. Like it's like it's like it feels like you're inside his brain. And it feels good. <laughs> and I don't, <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to I know leave. that's good or bad. I don't want to leave. No, it's a good thing. It feels good. And the episode so every episode's about him learning about something and going into the world and talking to people about it. Episode one, sneakers. <laughs> You wear them, I wear them. <laughs> we all like them. Sneaks. He goes to sneaker con, where he's, and he talks to a little boy. Mm-hmm. And he goes, um, how much money, what's the most money you've ever spent on a pair of shoes? Kid's like, 1800 First of all, I'm like, god damn. <laughs> how old was a kid? Just like half our age. 
Alright, so Kinda daddy, what it is. Kinda what it is. Fucking 90s, I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was fucking sneaker con. Shit, damn, the most I've been wanting to spend was 175. That's the thing, like, even, no, that's a sell for me, right? Like, ooh, I really want to spend three digits <laughs> on some shoes I'm going to stuff up, like, immediately. True. Um, Not me, boy. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you're good with it. Taylor will bring extra pair with them just to make sure it doesn't fuck it up. This one, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes to sneaker con, he sees some deals go forth. He sees a guy pay $3,300 for a rack of shoes, for a oh, table right. of shoes. Okay, right. And like you see the deal door down TV and Jeff's like, oh, yeah, there's an actual deal going on over here. And it's like, they got like, like there's a whole debate. Like, do you accept base damage? He's like, nah, man, that's a deal breaker. And it's like, and you know, Jeff's like, don't look, don't look, let him discuss it, let him discuss it. And then he goes to uh, the Adidas factory. Mm-hmm. He calls it Adidas. <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> and he fucking he he meet, he he goes to like the, the research center for fucking Adidas, and they have him run to test it. And he runs so fucking weird, and it's hilarious. <laughs> he goes, "Ah, oh, here I am, normal run." <laughs> and he was like, you know, the guys like you look more like a bopper, you know. And it's like bopper. And uh, there, when he when he comes in, there's this girl Elise running on the treadmill because they're getting her data, right? And oh, it's just so nice to meet you. And then he, they go to the they see. And it's like her skeleton running because they're looking at the points on the mm-hmm. joints and how it's reacting. And I was like, oh, I, I had no idea we'd be seeing her without her uh, her flesh and muscles. I, I hardly recognize her. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff. <laughs> and then, like, he fucking, like, he explains how fucking rubber was invented because, like, fucking back in the day, uh, buds tried to eat trees, so they fucking developed rubber to protect themselves. <laughs> and so how it came over here and we made basketball. And then he talks about street ball players and he plays a game of 21 and he makes layups and it's awesome <laughs> and he talks about how his uncle was a was a basketball player and shit and mm-hmm. then he gets his own shoe made yeah. and the guy's like what do you want and, uh now i want i like black i like missing it with dark blue and i want zebra print tiger print um a thelonious month uh bohemian but not bourgeoisie i'm not into fancy or chic <laughs> the fact that you remember word for words is... <laughs> i watched the episode twice <laughs> <laughs> oh so a tree his voiceover is amazing too, and he does like an unboxing video with uh, Jacques Slade. Oh, yeah, the home. Though? Yeah, yeah, he does a video with him, and it's like he's great because like Jacques like the one guy that can like gold bloom, gold bloom. Mm-hmm. Like they're like made for each other, and it's like he's like they have him unbox the shoe, and you know his jet has his Jacques has his uh, intro where he, he drums on the box, and he's like, "How's it going?" <laughs> so Jeff looks at the camera and he goes, "Howdy doody, hi, nice to see you." <laughs> <laughs> it's just great. And then he dips his shoe, and it's like it's a nice looking shoe. It's like black, mm-hmm. with like, but it's like uh, with like fucking special materials. Like the the, the ton has a zebra print on it, mm-hmm. and it's like, and it's funny because like he's in his like his fucking penthouse, and the guy knocks on his door. He's like, Mister Goldblum, a direct delivery for you. And I was, like, oh, I thought the custom mister. It's just Jeff. And he was like, uh, thank you, Mister Goldblum. He's like, what did I just say? I didn't even direct order. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then he's, and then he's like, and then the whole time he was like, um, shoes, yes, shoes. And he's just like, you know, he's looking at the camera like a gold bloom, man. It's fucking awesome. And then the next episode, it's about ice cream. Mm. So I cannot wait. <laughs> no, I, yeah. Th- this is a great segment. Uh, so I know y'all seen the Sonic redesign. Sedman or Segway? Segway. There you go. Yeah, I know, I know y'all seen Sonic redesign. Did yeah. love it. Mm-hmm. Movie still looks like trash. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's have a bad movie. Oh, Sonic no. looks good. Oh no, I gotta see it. <laughs> yeah, I, here, I, I feel like we gotta. I see have it now. to just because that fucking people slave to make them look good. Mm-hmm. Cause that movie was supposed to be out already. Yep. <laughs> it was coming out this now. November. <laughs> <laughs> and they pushed that shit back. To make All it right, damn, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, uh, so so they they uh redesigned his uh his sneakers now. But they still have the Puma brandy. <laughs> ah, I see. They know what their priorities <laughs> so, are. So I'm like, oh. But I, I won't lie. The shoe actually looks good. But uh, going back to what you were saying. That's about it for Goldblum. Um, yes, Goldblum. I think, I, think, I think the Disney Plus app is well worth the money. Oh, yeah. For fucking $6.99. Mm-hmm. I got to check it out. Yeah. Like, he, he, like, I was trying to think, like, would there be anything that fucking interested Taylor on there? I was like, yeah, because they have a lot of shit. Does they have yeah. fucking the X Men cartoon from the nineties? The Spider Man cartoon. Spider Man cartoon. All the Disney Channel movies. They're, the they're not fucking stuck in the suburbs with uh, Brenda Song. Yeah. <laughs> half the Marvel movies. Yeah. With the rest they on the way. Yeah. Uh, some of them are still on Netflix. 
So they had to wait for that deal to end and they'll come back. It's just like it's like Ant Man and Wasp, mm -hmm. Infinity War, um and like a couple other ones. But most of them are on there. Oh, nice. going to Portland. Oh, Carmelo Anthony, look at that. Carmelo's going to Portland. Portland Portlandia? Oh. So what about the, that cap thing? The old uh what what cap thing? Cap. What about Nick? Oh cap. Yeah. Take the knee. Um yeah, let's talk about sports now. Um <laughs> And the, a little overdue. I, I, a little I, overdue. Know, <laughs> I know you seem to list the teams on there. What, what, I didn't look to see what teams they were. What teams um, were they? Were the Bears on there? No. no the Bears aren't on there with if why I brought it up. Of course not. Yeah. Now don't remember I like I, I like Mitch. <laughs> I'm a Mitch truther. Yeah, you've been when we played Madden, you stuck with hey, Mitch. I won the game with him. And okay? You did good. But you, you did good? Yeah. I, 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 pl I played good. not too long ago against the Jets. Mm -hmm. First two I did with them on first on like fucking first down. Touchdown. Bear down. Anyway, what what are the teams that want cap? Oh, all right. Um, Mind you, he should have been the lead because fucking Lamar Jackson definitely mm -hmm. did that shit first. Just saying. Anyway. Eight teams? Eleven teams. Eleven teams. Eleven. Yeah, it was eleven teams. Yeah, that shit was shady though, because the NFL usually do this stuff on Tuesdays mm -hmm. and they're like, No, yeah. you have to do Saturday. Like you have to do it now. So basically they're not giving time. they weren't giving the teams any time. Because first of all, fucking mm -hmm. Sunday game day. Yep. Um, so it's like basically like yeah, look, we gave them an opportunity, you know, mm -hmm. but they they're not it's they don't they're trying to do everything they can to make sure it fails. Of course, it's yeah. NFL. R really, they just doing it to have good PR. Just thing. be like, can we shut up about it? We gave them yeah. a chance. Right. But into Dell. Mm -hmm. I should lose a job at ESPN saying that. <laughs> hey oh, shout out to the Ringer, <laughs> uh, great website. Anyone find the teams? Um, I assume. I'm trying to find them. Uh, I assume the Falcons are on there. Yeah, I remember um, Joe Flacco. Plus, it's in Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. They can make the trip. The Bengals. I think it was the Bengals. Buccaneers. Buccaneers. The Redskins. Redskins. Patriots. The Red. The Pain. Oh, Brady. Brady to Chicago mm -hmm. confirm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I heard that rumor. Uh, Titans. Uh, I don't think. The I'm just. Are. I'm just thinking about teams that don't have good quarterbacks. <laughs> Tennessee's a long drive, though. Okay, okay. Here it is. The Arizona Cardinals, mm -hmm. Atlanta Falcons. The Wait, Bengals, the Cardinals? The Dallas yeah, Cowboys. The Cardinals have fucking... Um... I mean, they could bring them in as a backup. Yeah, I guess. The Denver Broncos, the Detroit Lions, oh, they the really Miami can't get Dolphins, rid of Matt. the New York Giants, New England Patriots. Well, Matt broke his back. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Washington Redskins want them. So Buccaneers. Redskins, really, what they really, they really don't like Athens. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Um, I mean, if on any team, I could see him on the Giants because the Giants don't really have anybody. We got Danny Dimes. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's the truth. Hey, it's all right. I'm mad the Bears. The don't Jets want him. aren't on yeah, there. Right. I'm really mad the Bears don't want him. Well, yeah, I'd rather I I I would like Cap, but but, yeah. but but the Bears also their play is probably gonna be Cam Newton. Oh yeah. I don't see how they're gonna make it happen because they don't have a lot of picks. Mm -hmm. So I don't see how they make that trade happen. The Falcons, yeah, Falcons make sense. They're not a big fan of Flacco. Um. Lions, yeah, I just poor old Matt. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who's the uh, the Broncos? Who's their quarterback right now? I don't even remember. Um, Patriots surprised me. That I think that confirms me that Brady's on the way up. <laughs> the Cardinals really surprised me. So that's since they fucking just drafted number one draft pick quarterback. Bengals don't have anybody. Who else? Cowboys. Oh man, Dak. Put some respect on Dak's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his fault that fucking cat lost in that game. <laughs> um, the Dolphins. I feel like that's just being cruel. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, let's send them to the worst team that's trying to lose. <laughs> I was on the... Who was I on um, when um, I played the Madden game? Who drafted me? It might have been... Um, I forgot. Madden 20? The... Yeah, yeah. Still haven't beat that championship game, Dante. I want to that game. The Dolphins drafted me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Franchise saver, Dante Mims yeah. over here. Yeah, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> no, fuck. No, I'm done. <laughs> I do want to talk about uh, basketball for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, our boy Kenny Smith was on. Uh, he was on that on NBA TV talking about he, he made a little hot fan joke to the Bulls I did not appreciate, especially coming <laughs> off a win. He goes, what are the Bulls, 3-10? and ten? Mm. Whoa, buddy, we're 4-7. and seven. Let's get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Only three games under 500. I'm about to see talking to us a little bit like us. He talks about the Cowboys. Don't disrespect us like that. Also, you're near your nits saying shit, okay? <laughs> uh, 
I heard what uh, shout out Trophy White. I think it was Richard Jefferson said to Gilbert. Was it Richard Jefferson or was it Jared Dudley? No, no, no. I, I it was it when he was on Get Up. Because it was probably it was probably RJ. What did RJ say? So, um, <laughs> so they were uh, they were talking about um, when um, Gilbert wore uh, Nick Young. I think uh, it was Balenciaga or something. It was some expensive ass uh, yeah, shoe. Yeah. And he was uh, he was like, yeah, I just I just uh, waited <laughs> waited for oh, before story. the game started. Put them on, went out on the court and was hooping. And he was like, uh, no. they were like, uh, so, so what, uh, what did Nick say to you? Like, uh, Nick ain't say nothing. He was pretty cool about it. And Richard Jefferson chimed in, <laughs> like, um, he probably like, uh, not to shoot. Oh, not to shoot because <laughs> of the gun? Mm-hmm. Damn, RJ. For those who don't know, Gilbert Arenas brought guns to the locker room one time. Never forget. <laughs> Who broke the fight up? I remember like Oh in that fucking yeah. badass locker room? Yeah. Who was the voice of reason? I don't yeah. know. Because I know John Wall was there. He was a rookie. Mm-hmm. John Wall was I think Trevor Booker was still there. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck broke up the fight. Yeah. I don't think Karan Butler was gone, so he wasn't there. I just see him breaking that up. I don't see Karan starting it. <laughs> <laughs> Just something about his eyes. I mean, hey, he he was selling like crack at the age of seventeen. That was him, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, I think we're out of we're out of topics. There is something I want to say uh, off mic that I want to talk about, um, but for now, we're gonna leave you here. Leave you, uh, you know, with a little anticipation. What the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> you might find out one day. You might not. Until then, thank you for joining us on this very uh, lats adventure. I had a lot of fun, mainly because I almost fucking broke a dastard again. Um, but thanks for joining us. Hopefully, you join us in the next video. Until then, I am Ben. I'm Dante. Friendly neighborhoods, huh? <laughs> do it. We are CH3, and this has been Mama's Couch. See you guys. Bye.